Hey there, welcome back. Today's topic is about that feeling of overdoing work and not knowing when to hit the brakes. It's like we get caught in this never-ending loop and before we know it, everything is a mess. And it is like you have lost your time and energy in order to have nothing. Let's talk about why we tend to overdo things. It is like we're on this crazy train and once we're bored, we just can't get off. Maybe it's that nagging perfectionism that whisper in our ears, you gotta do more, better, faster. Or perhaps we're afraid of not measuring up to expectations, so we push ourselves until get something that we don't even know what that is. The thing is, when you're so focused on finish every single little detail to the point of exhaustion, it's no wonder things can fall apart. It is like trying and trying, even if you know there's nothing wrong with that, at the end, it's not going to be something pretty. We all need to realize that we're not robots and even they need some downtime to recharge. I will just take this day of practice as an opportunity to bring beauty into my life. I'm doing one painting of one of the thousand photos that I took while being there at the beach and it wasn't a waste of time. I like to try a variety of subject matters, it is not like one thing only. And for me, it is a challenge and makes me improve. And I was hoping to not hate my work after finish it. This is my first long video. I hope you guys enjoy the clips that we took for you. I guess there is peace in simplicity. Those clips make a lot for my videos in order to make them even more interesting and it gives a sense of peace and storytelling. So, I would like to know your opinions. I'm the kind of person who enjoys every single time when I'm outside because I can stay for a long time in my home without even noticing it. It's important for artists to gather inspiration outside from time to time. There's a lot of creative things that I enjoyed while watching and being there. Creating art for your loved ones is a beautiful practice. I'm saying this as a recommendation. You could take some time to do a peaceful art piece for your house or some handmade decoration. That's therapeutic for me. So I hope for you as well. It could be the simplest thing unless it's a good looking thing to hang up in your walls. I mean, keep it simple at the very beginning. Art makes a room feel comfortable and ready to stay in there for so many hours per day. Yet, it is one of the most important elements in a space. 
So why not dedicate some time to creating that for yourself? What is that finishing touch that can help pull a space together and make it feel finished? These paintings didn't take a lot of pressure, instead it was very relaxing to take this time to create such a different art concept, which I know will be pretty much appreciated. I enjoy the way the watercolors look after they dry, but I consider myself a bit messy with this technique, but this is the part that I really love because of this technique I got into the arts. If you really want to take your watercolor adventure to the next level, then fady painting is the way to go. Fadies doesn't change in being folklore and imagination add a sprinkle of magic to your art. As you bring the fadies to life on your canvas, you're tapping into your own imagination and inviting others to join you in the dreamlike realm. There's a sense of wonder and a childlike joy that comes with every brushstroke. These magical creators fleet and flutter through the paint, and you can almost hear the soft chimes of their laughter. You can choose to paint them hiding among the flowers or playfully dancing on moonlight nights. And hey, who says fairies are just for kids? Embracing these fantastical themes remind us that there's still room for wonder and magic in our adult lives.
training myself to embrace the process and effort that these paintings took from me has helped me to recognize when I need to stop and just leave it as it is. Now, I just have this idea that I will never consider a painting finished. In order to give my mind a well-deserved break, I decided to come back with watercolors and create so much for my daughter's future bedroom because I have to be prepared for that. I wanted to do a fairy tale illustration for her. My reference is a painting by Margaret Tarrant. She's an artist who inspired me to bring these beautiful concepts into her place. Painting is a world of freedom and self-expression. It doesn't matter if you're good at it or not. What matters is how it makes you feel. The colors you choose, the brush strokes you make, they all become a reflection of your emotions and thoughts. Another beautiful aspect of painting is that it teaches about patience. You can't rush art just like you can't rush life. It is about taking it one stroke at a time and letting things unfold naturally. If you make a mistake, no biggie, embrace the mess, embrace imperfection and let the painting be your path to tranquility. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you learned something while watching this video. Bye for now.